You first get introduced to my role, Rocky, sort of halfway through the first half, um, when Frankenfurter sends his guests up to the laboratory. And it's the reveal of his creation. And then I, I spin round on this truck. It's a great entrance, actually. I, I, I don't think I'll ever find an entrance like this again. I spin round and I'm born. Um, and I sing the song called Sword of Damocles, uh, dressed in leopard print pants. The hardest thing about playing Rocky, uh, I have to say, is keeping in shape. You require to be muscular because really, um, it, it, Rocky is supposed to be a symbol of the Charles Atlas way of training. And Charles Atlas was a strong man back in the day who said, I can make you a man in seven days. And we have that song within the show. So I am the man. Uh, the man that Frankenfurter wants, blonde hair and muscle, muscles. But I've got quite a small physique, naturally, so I have to go to the gym every day to keep in shape. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm often seen in my sports attire, uh, but it has to be done, and it's tough. Well, I have a very easy makeup routine, actually. All I do, I put a wig on, and um, there's a little bit of eyeliner, and I have to fake tan, as you can probably see. <laughs> um, I've been tangoed, uh, but I, I actually travel around with me a tanning booth, which is so cool. I've got my own booth in my changing room. So it's just fake tan, wig, uh, and we're good to go. Oh yeah, and the gold boots and the leopard print pants. I don't think I'll ever have as much fun in this show, on stage, for an hour and a half, ever in my life, to be honest with you, and get paid for it. It's, it's a privilege and a joy. Uh, this show is like none other. You know, the audience participation is just as much part of the show as we are on stage as the actors. And it's great fun, really. It's, it's akin to a pantomime, but it's a pantomime for adults. I don't think Richard will kill me for saying that, but it, it is, you know, and, and you hear all sorts of shout outs and we expect them, we quite like them. And sometimes you have an unusual one. Um, which throws you a little bit. But actually, we're thrown more if the audience are quiet. The outfits are something to behold. I mean, people dress up all shapes and sizes, all ages. They're wearing their fishnets, the boas, you know, the lippy, uh, the stilettos, of course. Um, and it's great to see everybody having fun. Um, some people come dressed as me as well. I see in the front row these guys with a one-pack <laughs> in their gold pants. I'm like... Congratulations, dude. It's winter in Scotland and you're just wearing that? You're brave. <laughs> We've been warned about Scotland and Glasgow, uh, you know, that we get great audiences here and they like to get involved. And we're, what, we're halfway through and the audience has been great, as I would expect. But Birmingham were particularly loud and, uh, yeah, some, some people shout out some very crude things. I'm quite prudish, so, you know, you hear some things, you're like, what? <laughs> oh, my mum didn't hear that, but it's, you know, it's, it's liberating, you know, it's part of the show. Two weeks time, we're at the Playhouse in Edinburgh. I'm only doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then I'm off on my own tour. Uh, but yeah, we're very much looking forward to uh, sporting our fishnets and boas in, uh, in Edinburgh.